Hi, I'm Todd Clippinger, and welcome to the American Craftsman Workshop. This video is part of a series where we're talking about the business of woodworking and how to sell your projects. And I started off in episode 34 with sharing how I sell my projects. Now, I realized that because my background is from the remodel industry perspective, and I've built a reputation over the years of doing custom built-ins and fine furnishings, that you probably aren't going to be taking that route and trying to get established through the remodel industry. So what I did was I went to the uh, annual summer fair that's held, held here in Billings. It's a juried craft show, so you see a lot of higher-end uh, arts and crafts type stuff. And I, I interviewed three other woodworkers. Now, one of those guys is actually a friend of mine, but two other guys, I, I did not know them until I simply approached them and asked if they would share with us about their business. And today I'm going to bring to you Brad Bernhardt from Red Lodge, Montana. He makes uh, very contemporary style uh, kitchen utensils. They're wonderful looking, and he did really well at the, at the summer fair selling his, his product. And I simply approached him and asked him if he would be willing to share with us how he runs his business and sells his projects. And he was very generous, guys. So go over to his website, earlywooddesigns.com, Check out his website, check out his products, and you can see what he manufactures there. And uh, also, um, be sure to drop him a line of thanks. Just let him know, hey, I saw you on the American Craftsman Workshop, and I really appreciate you sharing the information. That way, he knows that he's helped other people. I think that's the biggest thing. When I share and when these other woodworkers share, they just want to know that they're, they're, they're actually helping somebody else, and it really makes it well worth the time and effort. So I don't want to spoil anything. I'm going to send you right over here to Brad Bernhardt, where he shares a lot about his business and what he sells. And I think you're going to find a lot of very useful information. Uh, my name is Brad Bernhardt, and uh, I'm the owner and maker at Earlywood, uh, a company uh, based in Red Lodge, Montana. And uh, there I manufacture uh, heirloom quality hardwood kitchen utensils of my own designs. And uh, I'm here at uh, Summer Fair in uh, Billings, Montana, uh, selling, them, selling them to Billings. My shop is in a little town called Fox, Montana. I share it with uh, a custom furniture builder, Nick Kozarok, who's been doing it for 30 or 40 years. And uh, Nick has been a big help in uh, teaching me a lot of things about uh, building in the shop and using tools and whatnot. I rent part of Nick's shop from him, just a small part of the basement, and uh, use all of his uh, regular woodworking tools upstairs, so it's a great relationship. Uh, I make uh, wooden kitchen utensils, which are all very small, so I can function in a very small shop space. Uh, the part that's dedicated to spoon making is only about 12 feet by about 20 feet, and uh, that's all I need with my sanders and uh, fans on, things like that. Uh, my products are small, uh, my scrap is small, and I don't have any big pieces to move around or anything, so I can do it in a really small space, which is great, because it keeps the rent low. Uh, I'm uh, a mechanical engineer and was uh, trained as and worked as a mechanical engineer before uh, starting this business. So, and while I was working as a mechanical engineer, uh, the company I worked with was really, really focused on lean manufacturing. And uh, I learned a lot through them. I went to a lot of, I took a lot of classes through them on lean manufacturing. And I've applied all of that uh, to my own manufacturing processes. And uh, it comes out in the products. In the shop, I've uh, applied those principles to make everything as a fit, every process efficient, as efficient as possible and as repeatable as, process, as possible. So, uh, like with this piece here, I've got one, two, three, four different jigs that I use to make this piece. So, even though I'm the only employee of Earlywood right now and I make everything you see behind me, uh, if I was to hire an employee to come into the shop, uh, I could show them these four jigs and they could, I could give them about five minutes of training and in no time they could be banging out exact copies of what I make by myself. And because I need to sell these and make money on them, uh, that's what I need. I can't be paying someone to be in there eyeballing every single piece to make sure it comes out just like I designed the original piece. So the jigs, uh, the flow of the shop and all that will eventually allow me to expand into bigger markets 
wholesale, uh, more fairs and more online sales, and be able to transfer some of the work of the actual product creation to my employees instead of me being the only guy in the shop doing all the work and having to manage everything else at the same time. Yeah, being uh, trained as a mechanical engineer, the thing I know the least about is sales and marketing. Uh, from all I can gather from uh, the people I've talked to for, uh, for advice is when I ask them, should I do shows, should I sell retail, should I sell wholesale, should I sell online, should I sell on Facebook or whatever it happens to be, uh, they say it, when you start out, sell it all of the above. And that's essentially what I've been doing so far. Uh, this year, I will be doing uh, eight shows, I think, eight craft fairs, uh, all in the state of Montana, except for one in Wyoming. And uh, I sell on my website, uh, which is where I still make most of my sales, uh, percentage-wise. I think about half my sales come from my web sales. And uh, I sell uh, wholesale around the state of Montana at about 15 or so different stores, uh, a couple of galleries, and a couple of consignment places. And, uh, you know, they all, they all pitch in and I get a little bit of money coming in from each one and uh, it just paints the whole picture of, you know, making it work and, you know, allowing me to support my wife and my kids with uh, doing what I love. Coming to these craft fairs is, uh, in my opinion, necessary for a business at my stage starting off. Uh, I get to meet with thousands of people over the course of a weekend. Uh, make a personal connection, make sales right on the spot, and I know for a fact that it helps my online sales directly because I watch my online sales at all time, and for the next couple weeks after this uh, craft fair and after every other craft fair I do, there's a two or three week bump in online sales. Uh, I make sure to give every customer that comes to the booth that makes a purchase uh, a card with some information about myself, a direct link right to the website, and it definitely pays off in the long run because I know uh, those sales are coming directly from my affairs. My advice as a woodworker that's just getting up and running and making this happen, uh, for somebody else that's trying to do it with the woodworking business, is always know your profit margins <laughs> because it doesn't matter if you're selling right to the customer or if you're selling to you know Martha Stewart or whoever it happens to be or Walmart or one piece at a time it's totally custom uh, it doesn't matter if you sell 10,000 or something if you're only making a penny on it so don't waste your time making stuff uh, in products that you can't sell or that you're not making money on uh, spend your time making sure you're charging enough for your stuff and you're making it quick enough that you can actually make a living on it. Well, guys, I hope you enjoyed that interview with Brad Bernhardt from Red Lodge, Montana. Be sure to check out his website, earlywooddesigns.com. Not only does he have some great uh, designs and woodworking projects that he sells and makes his living from, but he has a great example of what a website should be. It's clean, bright, it's well curated, functions smoothly and navigates easily. It's everything that a website should be, which is going to be very critical if you want to have a woodworking business. So his website in itself is a great lesson for you. Also, be sure to drop him a line of thanks. Um, you know, I did not know Brad, as I said earlier, until I simply approached him and, and asked him, hey, would you just share everything about your business to the world? <laughs> and he did. So I have a new woodworking friend too. But tell him thanks for uh, sharing some great information. Also, he only lives about 60 miles from me here in Billings, and I hope to visit his shop someday and get to take a look at his operation and how he manufactures all of his wood products. Also, be sure to stick around. We have more videos coming, a couple more guys that have interviewed, and everybody has some different perspectives, some great information for you guys uh, that are interested in the business of woodworking. And these guys were very generous with their time. One of them is a friend of mine, and also another one was simply a, another cold call, just like Brad. And he was very generous with his time. Everything will be hot linked together, so you don't have to watch the videos in any special order, but they'll all be hot linked together so you can be sure to grab all the videos on the business of woodworking because everybody offers some great perspective. Well, that's all I have for now from the American Craftsman Workshop. And be sure to subscribe to my videos and visit my website at AmericanCraftsmanWorkshop.com. And until next time, guys, be safe in your own shop.
In this video, we're going to continue the series of 